Right now, we head back to boxing at Rio Centro Pavilion 6. It's time for the women's lightweight gold medal bout. Kenny Rice, BJ Flores, and Chris Mannix with the call. And here we go, round one, lightweight championship on the line. 132 pounds. Estelle Mosley from France taking on Jun Ha Yen from China. China, a surprise in this tournament. They have five wins and seven bouts. Yen coming in here without a seeding. Mosley, meanwhile, coming in as the number two seed. in the blue, the 23-year-old in her first Olympics. She's been boxing almost half her life. 2016 world champ was third in 2014. And among those here cheering her on, her fiance, super heavyweight Tony Yoka, who has advanced to the gold medal round himself. Could be a double gold wedding down the road. <laughs> Mosley right here, the strong favorite in this one, and coming out strong against Yen. You know, Mosley definitely has the heavier hands, shooting punches with authority. Yen very quick on the outside. Uh, you know, able to do a couple things, but not a lot of punching power, so Mosley can walk right to her and really let those combinations go without too much fear of anything in return. Mosley getting the bye with the number two seed. She's 2-0 in this tournament. Yen's had to win three to get to this stage. See Yen doing a lot of taunting and feigning on the outside. It only works after you shot some good combinations, Kenny. You know, it doesn't matter if you taunt and feint whenever you've landed some, if you haven't landed any nice shots because they're not going to respect it until you land something nice. So Yen's got to put a little more offense out there before she's doing so much uh, taunting and feinting. Stop. And there's the end of round one. Yen getting all three votes in that first round. Round two, women's lightweight gold on the line. Juho Yen of China coming in here unseated. And could she pull the upset? She's in the red. She got all three judges' votes in that first round against the number two seed, Estelle Mosley of France. Kenny, I didn't see her landing any punches. I just, uh, I saw her standing on the outside a lot and, and doing a lot of fainting and taunting and getting the position, but not really anything of, of consequence landing, so. I, I disagree with that, and I feel like Mosley did enough to easily win the first round. I'm going to watch a little closer in the second round. And she's holding on to Mosley here. Estelle celebrating her 24th birthday today and hoping to do so by putting a gold medal on top of the cake. But Yen right now is impressing the judges so far. Kind of a slapping left to her right hook she landed there, but besides that... Mostly he's been carrying the action in this fight. And all three judges gave it to her. That's, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked by that. She moves in again. Mostly has been the aggressive fighter in this, as she has throughout the tournament. And she was expected to be that coming in here as the number two seed. Now this is a big round. There are four two-minute rounds in the women's divisions. Mosley trying to cut down that ring and get in there for another punch or two on Yen. And Yen working the body. Mosley slips in a shot here. Neither lady has really landed too much in this round either, Kenny. Final seconds, round two. Mosley with a good right. That's her best punch so far as the seconds tick down in round two. Round two going to Yen. Two rounds to nothing now over Mosley. Round three. Round three. Estelle Mosley of France in the blue. The number two seed in this tournament, but she is down two rounds to none to Junya Yen of China, the unseated one who has surprised everyone by getting this far. And right now, Mosley is in a fight if she wants to take home the gold. 
Well, Kenny, once again in that second round, uh, two of the three judges gave it to Yin. I, I watched and paid extra good attention in that round, and I didn't see any real clean scoring punches of, of Yin the entire round, so I'm not sure how she got that round again. So I see mostly doing most of the work and most of the effective punching, and Yin just kind of standing around and not really able to... She's trying, but she's not able to land anything clean, so uh, once again, I'm, I'm in left field on this one. Mostly has certainly landed the power punches in this. Once again, they tie up. Yen fought mostly before, lost to her last year in a world tournament. But she has fought a solid fight here, not landing that many punches. This hasn't been the most active fight we've seen, BJ. Mostly reaching out, trying to get that right in there. That's her strong point. And the 23-year-old in her first Olympics. Now she's getting more aggressive using that punch upstairs, BJ. Yeah, but Kenny, to me, it seems like she's been doing this the entire fight. She's been coming forward, landing the punches on the guard of Yen. Yen's been trying to shoot that counter right hook, but it's honestly, it's only been a slap, and it's hit mostly on the side of the head a few times, and it looks like she doesn't even feel it, to be honest with you. So uh, I just feel like... Mostly is doing the better work. She's landing the harder shots, and uh, Yen's getting credit for the first two rounds. I, I don't understand. Mostly again with a solid round here. How will the judges score this? This is round three of four. Gold medal on the line for the winner in the lightweight division. Final seconds, round three. One more to go. Round three, all three judges scoring for Mosley. Looking on as well, fiance Tony Yoka, super heavyweight from France. He is also going for gold this weekend. Fourth and final round, lightweight gold in the women's division on the line. Estelle Mosley of France, the number two seed, winning that last round. She's down two rounds to one to Juhu Yen from China, who came in here unseated and has pulled upsets three times to get to these finals. And it's been mostly who has been very effective in this fight, BJ, even though she's down two to one on the judges' cards. Yeah, I have her winning all three rounds, Kenny, and to be honest with you, uh, you know, she's easily done enough to win this fight with, based on clean punching. Yen just kind of stood forward and, you know, stood there and, and looked to land punches, and uh, big mistake there in the clinch when both fighters put their arms out. You never stop and don't protect yourself. You always protect yourself at all times. Another good right hand by Mosley. Mosley is now trying to make it emphatic here in this fourth and final round. Today's her 24th birthday, and she wants to take home a gold to Paris. Four big punches by Mosley. More good stuff by her on the inside. And, you know, just the much stronger puncher. You see when the punches of Mosley land, you can visibly see the head of Yin move back. You see the hair fly up. You see the effect that it takes. And... Whenever Yen lands on mostly, uh, I, I, I've hardly seen any shots that actually landed, but you can't even tell when they land. So big difference in the clean punching, Kenny. Mostly moving in again. She's a computer engineering degree. She plans on being a developer and designer, and she's trying to design the plan now that's get her gold as she's closing out strong in this fourth and final round. Very good round for mostly. Maybe her best yet. Yeah, she's really dominating this fight, Kenny. I, like I said, I, I have her winning every round so far. It's unfortunate she's got to win this last round to be able to win the match, but, uh, you know, sometimes that's how it goes. But, uh, you know, definitely doing enough landing all the clean shots. Yen is very game and very tough, but just hasn't landed anything offensively to earn her or make her deserve winning this fight. Yen won the first two rounds, one of those unanimously. Mostly won the last round. It's going to the judges, and it may be a close one to decide the gold medal in the women's lightweight as the seconds now tick down, and this fight is over. Mostly and Yen sending it to the judges. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner by split decision. Senhoras e senhores, a vencedora e campeã olímpica por decisão dividida. No canto azul, In the blue corner. representando a França, Estelle Mosley. Happy birthday, Estelle Mosley. Her 24th birthday today, and it was a golden one for the French boxer. IndyCar drivers, it's getting interesting. With four races to go, it's imperative you lead the pack at Pocono Raceway. Here comes the fight. This battle far from done. Coverage begins Sunday at 3 Eastern on NBCSN.
honestly makes sense to me. I try to balance my studying with the typical college experience. This Windows. Yes, she is, but this opponent, Shakamova, is much better than the, the opponent she faced the first night. Uh, you know, she's actually got a decent left hand. She comes out, she's trying to taunt and feint, and Clarissa's is not falling into any of the traps. Clarissa Shields from the U.S. in the red, the defending gold medalist, taking on gold medals. No U.S. boxer has done that. Great start here for Shields. In now is to keep the pressure on Shakamova, and that is exactly what Shields is doing. Chris Mannix. Guys, some of the growth of Clarissa Shields is obvious. She was five. Had the call. U.S. boxer Clarissa Shields, one win away from another shot at a second straight gold medal. No U.S. boxer has ever accomplished that. Well, you know, Kenny, she's got a lot of good experience, having been to the Olympics already before and winning a gold medal. to nothing would appear on her way for another shot at gold. Shields getting two votes, one judge scoring for Shakamova in round three. Round four. Fourth and final round. Middleweights, 165 pounds. The winner goes on to the gold medal bout. Kenny Rice, B.J. Floyds, and Chris Mannix. And it's Clarissa Shields in the red who has been dominating this fight against Dariga Shakamova of Kazakhstan. Shakamova, though, did get one vote from a judge in round three. But all three rounds going to Shields, it would take a knockout, which would seem impossible. Let's feed him to the sharks. And take all of his gold. And take all of his gold. And hide him. 
Running for a cause today in North Park. The third annual Run for Joy was held this morning in honor of Alexis Joy Diachilli. Diachilli took her own life after suffering from postpartum depression following the birth of her daughter. We're trying to get that stigma against postpartum depression away so that people can really seek help when they need it. 11 News anchor Peggy Finnegan served as MC for today's event. The Steelers have signed quarterback Brian Renner, who played his college football at North Carolina. Renner, who has worked with four other NFL franchises, is needed because the Steelers are thin at quarterback. Justin Vaughn, who played the entire second half of the Steelers game with the Philadelphia Eagles, is out with a fractured bone in his right thumb. Right? And that is incorrect. The correct answer is Cristiano Ronaldo. Norway, Denmark, Sweden, all big countries when it comes to handball. And right now, the winner of this game gets to go to France.